What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to accurately correct your white balance using scopes in Final Cut Pro. It's a pretty easy trick that you can use to correct the white balance of your footage, but there is one small condition that you need to meet in order for it to work. Stick around and I'll show you how it works. Getting an accurate white balance can sometimes be a pretty difficult task if you have challenging lighting conditions or a weird color cast on your footage, but using scopes to correct your white balance is the way to get over that hurdle. The only thing you need for this method to work is an area of white in your shot. It doesn't have to look white to start because obviously that's what we're trying to fix, but you do need an area that's supposed to be white. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you two different examples. So first things first, I need to set up this workspace with the right tools for the job. So the first thing I need to do is get the right scope on the screen. And to do that, I'll use Command 7. And I'll hide this browser window by using the shortcut Command Control 1. Now I want to use the RGB overlay to get the job done. So I want this to be full screen. So I'll click on View, make it full screen. And from this drop down over here, I'll select RGB overlay. I'm using this shot from Amsterdam. And the idea here is to find a part of the scene that is meant to be white. In this case, it's going to be the inside of the store here where these lights are kind of yellow. They should be white. What you'll need to do is to fill the frame with this section that is meant to be white so that your scope reads correctly. So to do that, I'm going to scale this clip up quite a lot and I'm going to activate my transform tool here so that I can move this clip up to the top. We'll just keep scaling and keep moving that clip until this section fills the screen. A little bit more, something like that'll do. If you look at your red, green and blue channels here on the scopes, you'll see that they are not at the same intensity. When something is totally white, your red, green and blue channels will be equal. So this image is a lot warmer than it should be. So I'm going to come over to my color inspector to correct that. And I'm going to adjust the temperature slider here so that these line up a little bit closer. They won't be perfect, but you can use this to kind of get an idea of where the white balance should be. That's already a little bit closer. You can see the green channel is slightly lower than the rest, so I can use this tint slider over here to kind of just bring that all together. That looks a lot closer together, so if I just take this color wheel off, you can see the before and the after, and this is looking a lot more white. Let's see the full shot though. I'll head over to the clip properties, and I'll just uncheck this transform box so that I can see my full clip again. Here is the before and after of the adjustment I've just made. There you can see it's a bit more yellow and there we have a more neutral, accurate white balance. While we're here, I'll probably just adjust the grade a little bit as well. I'll darken the shadows, brighten up these highlights and to make some of these lighter areas glow to make the lights look like they're glowing, I'll just boost the saturation on those highlights a little bit. This is before all the adjustments and this is after the adjustments. If this tip was helpful to you, please hit that like button right now and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I've got more Final Cut Pro videos and specifically more color grading videos in the works, so you don't wanna miss out on those. Let's have a look at another example. Sometimes you'll have a shot where the white areas are actually supposed to have a slight color cast. For example, at sunrise or sunset when it's golden hour, things that are white might have a slight orange tint in reality. In the second example, I'll show you how to get a neutral white balance first, and then we'll add some of that golden hour tint back in the color grade. This shot from Prague was shot not long after the sunrise, and technically it's still golden hour. So the white area here, which we're going to use to adjust the white balance here, is not totally white in real life, but I like to use that as a starting point, and we can always add a little bit of that warmth in the second step. Let's scale the shot up and try to fill the screen with this white section over here. Okay, now that I've filled the screen, you can see again here on my scopes that these three channels don't quite line up. I'll head over to my color wheel adjustment and I'll adjust the temperature here until those line up. The green channel is also a little bit lower than the blue and the red, so I'll adjust the tint here to kind of bring those a bit closer together. Perfect. If you look at the before and the after so far, you can see that this was a lot warmer and now this is looking a lot more white. I'll head over back to the inspector and I'll just uncheck this transform box for now. So we have a much more neutral starting point for the grade. So while we're here, I'll just go ahead and grade this clip as well. I'll drop the shadows slightly, raise the highlights a bit, 
And now I want to add some of the oranges back into the scene so that it still feels like golden hour. To do that, I'll add a new color wheel adjustment. I'll add a color mask. I'll select these buildings by clicking and dragging and I'll shift click to try get as much of this as I can. Something about there. Then I'll just on the master channel boost some of those oranges. That's what we had before. There's the white balance adjustment and there's some of the oranges added back in for that golden hour feel. One more time, this is before and this is after. It's as easy as that. Correcting the white balance using scopes is a simple little trick, but it's often helped me in tricky situations where I couldn't correct the white balance by eye. Some plugins like Color Finale 2 have the ability to color pick the white balance, which is super handy. I recently made a video where I go over that feature of Color Finale 2, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description down below for you. I want to do some more videos on color grading specifically, so if you have any questions or you have anything that you want to know about color grading, anything you're struggling with, please let me know in the comments down below. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.